we look up at the night sky. And even on a really clear night, the many stars we see are all within our very own galaxy, the Milky Way. And even those stars that are visible are just a tiny fraction of what's really out there, amongst the countless suns that shine so brightly. Many have shone for billions of years, and many will shine for billions of years to come. The vastness of our very own galaxy becomes a mere speck of light within the universe as it joins company with billions of similar looking galaxies that stretch countless billions of light years across a vastness that our minds can barely comprehend. Billions of galaxies and with each galaxy containing billions of stars we cannot help but wonder how abundant life is within this vastness. It would sound arrogant to suggest that our beautiful planet Earth is the only body within the vastness of this universe to be blessed with the gift that we call life. I have so many happy memories of this beach. Those playful days that I shared with my brother and sister here as a child. And my journey here, of many thousands of miles across the world, was to reconnect with the atmosphere of that time and this place. Is it possible? Could I recapture the essence of what I felt here so many years ago? Well, a very warm smile developed. I had real moments where I felt like that little boy again. Just freely playing and discovering. I was quite surprised to see that so little had changed here. But what about me? Where was I in this blink between two moments in time? And how can I define myself within this moment of time and space? If you're anything like me, trying to make sense of this beautiful gift we call life, the need to discover the truth has always been of great interest. And my music has played a strong part in this process, as it has always helped to channel and direct my energy and keep me in the flow. But what is truth? Is my nanosecond of physical self all there is? Or am I a mere reflection of something far greater than I could ever comprehend? So let me share with you a little of what I've discovered so far. Composing and playing music is a wonderful tool for me. It brings the whole maelstrom of thinking to a halt. I'm sure any artist would say the same. 
that the creative process is so rewarding in this way. It reconnects or puts the creator in touch with himself with that inexhaustible flow of energy and power that is always there but only in this present moment which is eternity unfolding. Being creative, writing music for me is simply making myself available to that which is. And then it all happens by itself. That's why the question, how do I write music, is impossible to answer, because I simply don't know. It only happens when I'm no longer there to get in the way. The words I am are beyond time. I am that creates the subject and the object. I am that I am is the identification of the subject with the I am, which is the one consciousness containing the whole universe. So who am I? Am I this silence? Am I the flute? The music? Am I the air through which the sound vibrates? What is this need to identify with something? The ancient Greek philosopher Heraclitus once said, everything is in flow. So to try to identify with anything is to step into something which is always changing. So if I'm honest with myself, my search has always been for something permanent in life. And now I see that the only permanent thing is the flow of life itself. So I have no choice but to jump into the river of life, to let the current take me to trust that it will carry me somewhere. But then I have to live with the mystery of where it all came from. Where is it going? I trust that this breathtaking universe knows exactly what it's doing. And if not, then it still has eternity to explore. Science tells us that our perception of this amazing universe happens as an electrochemical reaction in the brain. 
So we could say that all things that appear to be outside of me are really happening on the inside. But on the inside of what? And that brings us back to the question, who am I? Do I have an inside, an outside? Or is there nothing there at all but this feeling of I am? Could it be that there is only one of us here? And I, for one, am happy to leave it at that.